With Mosure, you can capture multiple layers within the same measurement. For a successful measurement involving layers, you need to know the best techniques for using Mosure. And you also need to know how to change your path type mid-measurement. If you haven't already, we recommend watching the video How to Get Started with Mosure 1 and then coming back to this video. You can find this video by tapping the help icon in the top left corner of the app and then pressing Tutorial. The way we're able to place each layer accurately is by using the first edge. We recapture the same first edge for each layer that we want to add. The app uses this as a reference line to correctly align all the layers. All the shared origins are grouped to a single point and then each layer is rotated so all the first edges are in alignment. This ensures that all the layers are placed correctly. Because the first edge is so critical when creating a measurement with layers, it's important to choose the best first edge you can for your measurement. There are three things we want you to consider when picking your first edge. We want the first edge to be quite long. The longer the first edge, the less impact that human error will have on the measurement. And we want the first edge to be distinct and easily repeatable. And lastly, we want your first edge to be somewhere centrally located in your overall measurement. This will reduce the distance you have to travel for each additional layer. In the example we're showing you here, we have a few layers in this park. We have this base area with these benches on it, and then within this area there are two more raised areas. We're also going to capture the location of this tree in the top raised area. We're going to capture the shape of the grass surrounding these areas, and then also locate these four trees within the grass area. With all this in mind, we chose this line to be our first edge. It fulfills the three important requirements we need when picking a good first edge. This line is nice and long. It's distinct and easily repeatable. And it's located quite centrally in the overall measurement, so we won't have to cover as much distance getting each layer. To begin, you start your measurement as you normally would by pressing the plus icon in the bottom center of the app and then choosing the type of shape you want. In this instance, we want all closed shapes. We start at the shared origin point, and then once that's captured, we walk along the first edge and capture our second point. With our first edge captured, we just carry on measuring the shape as we normally would. Once we're back at our start point and finish measuring the shape, we just press the stop icon in the bottom center of the app. Now that our first shape has been captured, we are ready to add our second layer. In the bottom right hand corner of the app, you'll be able to see the layers icon. Tap this to reveal the Add Layer button. Once you press this, the app will prompt you to go back to your shared origin point. Place Mosure at your shared origin point and wait for it to be captured. Once this point has been captured, you'll be prompted to capture a second point along your first edge. Your shared origin point needs to be the exact same point every time. However, you have a bit more flexibility when it comes to capturing your second point. You could stop a bit further ahead than you originally did, or even a bit further back. The critical thing is that you stop along your first edge. Now you've captured this second point, observe the path type selected at the bottom of your screen. You'll see that the path type is currently set to ignore line. When measuring a new layer, you will always be set to ignore line by default after you've captured your first edge. In ignore line mode, Mosure is still tracking its position in 3D space. The difference is it won't draw any paths on your screen. This means we can now walk over to our second area we want to capture. As you can see, a point has been drawn on the measurement where we've stopped, but no path has been drawn. Mosure will remain in ignore line mode until you manually choose a different path type. We've reached the second area we want to capture, so we're ready to change the path type. We're going to start measuring this straight edge, so we'll pick straight line. All we need to do is tap the straight line icon in the bottom of the app. We then carry on measuring the rest of the shape as we normally would and press the stop icon once we're finished. As you can see, this second shape has been placed accurately relative to the first shape that we captured. We then just need to follow the same process for each subsequent layer that we want to add to the measurement. Tap the layers icon in the bottom right hand corner, tap add layer, return to our shared origin point. We capture a point here and then we capture a second point anywhere along the first edge. We walk to the next shape we want to capture in ignore line mode. Upon reaching the next shape we want to measure, we change the path type to the line we want. We then measure the shape as we normally would and press the stop icon once we're done. If you want to see a list of your layers, you can tap the layers icon in the bottom right hand corner of the app. 
Here you'll see the individual areas and perimeters for each layer. By tapping the eye icons, you can toggle the visibility of the layers. You can tap the three dots to the right of the eye icon to rename a layer, to export an individual layer, or delete an individual layer. We hope this brief tutorial has given you the information you need to get started measuring layers with Mosher.